out here in a field in northern Alabama. Ooh, look at those deer tracks. Interesting. But uh, this field had a couple of old home sites on it. Um, obviously the home sites are gone, or the homes are gone. But uh, I'm using a GPS called, a uh, GPS program called Gaia, I think it is. G-A, ooh, squirrel. <coughs> I'm a piece of brick, I think. Huh. Um, G-A-I-A, -A, uh, GaiaGPS.com is the website. And you can actually use it for free. But um, it has maps on there and whatever. And uh, really what you're looking at is you want to use a, there's a 1900 USGS, a 1930 USGS, and a 1960 USGS. And those are the three main maps I use to determine uh, home locations. So, yeah. I'm not getting paid for that. I'm just uh, letting you know that's the program I use. And the cool thing is it has an app and you can use the app uh, between uh, your laptop, your iPad, your tablet, whatever, and your cell phone. So uh, whatever you put on your cell phone, when you log in on, a, on, on another device, boom, it's right there. So, and you can keep everything private. You don't have to, you can either put it public or private. I think most people put it private because I've yet to see anybody else's stuff on, on the mapping. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm out here. And uh, let's see what we're going to find. Well, that was my first signal. It's an iron signal. And, yep. That is an early square nail right there. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. I'll take that. Oh, oh, let me stand up. Okay, so this is interesting. It's obviously made of brass or copper. It would have been originally oblong, and it looks like it's got tabs at both end. Quite honestly, I got no clue. I don't see any writing or anything, which would help. But there you go. Well, something else out the ground. All right, let's keep looking. Well, this is uh, interesting. I got a little piece of metal here. It's got an arrow. It looks like it actually says Athens. That'd be for Athens, Alabama, and it has an arrow to the right, and then I see ER above that. That's interesting. I'll keep an eye out, see if I can find any more of this in this area. Huh. I'm assuming that's Athens. Looks like an A-T-H-E-N-S. Unless it's heathens. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, now I found a rivet. Very cool. Well, let's see what we got here. I think I got a flat button. Drop for the second time here. 200, yes I do. Yep. There's the back. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's something, that's... Okay, so there is the front plane. The back... Thank God we got a new washing machine. What is that? Oh, that's got a Federal Eagle. That's an old Federal Eagle. Check that out. That is awesome. That's awesome. Find of the day.
All right, talk to you in a little bit. Yeah, live dig, I guess, because it's actually, I can see it in the plug. Let me pull the plug up. That looks like a flat button to me. Yeah, that's a flat button. Always oh, got it shanked too. Oh, geocache 0844, be so happy. I found a button with a shank. I need to bring a toothbrush out with me because I cannot read the back of this. I can't get it scraped off. It looks like there's something on there. I see guilt. I don't know what else. So, but that's cool. Another flat button. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, what this is. Let's see. Ah. Ooh. That's a two piece. I can't tell what it's got on it. Boy, this soil is rough. It is a two-piece button, though. Let's see if we can... It's got some marking on it. Oh, it looks like a flower type. You know what? It looks similar to one I found out in the Utah Territories, 1850s era. Obviously, being a two-piece, uh, the earliest it could be is the late 1840s. So, that's cool. We'll get cleaned up when we get home, and we'll see what's on it. Cool. Okay, now I've got part of a uh, brass, probably horse tack bottle, buckle. But it is brass, not iron. It's cool. All right, let's keep looking. Okay, just took my OSHA recommended um, water break, which is actually very important out here, even though it's like only 60 degrees possibly the humidity just sucks it out of you but anyway <clears throat> winds blowing coming from the north it's feeling really nice and cool if it would just start snowing while well, it would send 99.9% .9 of the population here into sheer panic I'd be laughing having a good old time watching people slide off into the ditches so anyway um yeah so I'm heading down to a spot where there used to be a creek that ran through this property. Obviously they've uh, cultivated the field and everything, but still uh, I want to see if maybe the around that creek holds something and I switch to the bigger coil. So I will keep you posted and I'll talk to you in a little bit. See ya, bye. Gave up on the, uh, down there at the creek, nothing going on. So I came back up to this hilltop and uh, just found this. Looks like a piece of hand wrought iron, handle, of some type, loop. Could be in a rain loop, hand fashioned, I don't know. It's cool though, we'll take it. Oh, I think I found a uh, part of a lock plate. Interesting uh, design lock or key. That's what it looks like to me. Cool. Got something around here. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Four hole button. Ah, it's a little bit more modern than what we were looking for. I doubt it's gonna have anything on it, but there you go, another button. Not done, not done too bad today with the buttons. Um, definitely uh, early 1800s. I'd say mid 1800s and then this one here I'd even say is a uh, probably Victorian era. I mean it looks like it's copper very thin brass so so three periods I'm sure so that's cool all right I'm gonna start wandering towards the truck and uh, if I find anything between there and there here and there i will show you and if not we'll do a recap
upon the uh, tailgate. I was going to wander back to the truck, but in truth, I kept wandering around this area where I found the buttons before, and it looks like it just paid off. I have another flat button. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. There you go. Another flat button. All right, now I'm gonna try and head back for the truck. Okay. Walking back to the truck, and it looks like I may have another signal. Another button, should I say. Obviously I got a signal. Ooh, what we got here? Anything on it? I don't know. Doesn't look like it, but it's definitely concave. It might have a design, oh no, that's a chip. Right there, but concave with uh, the shank still. That's cool. I'll take that. Got no idea if it's got anything on it. Doesn't look like it. Cool.